Yo what is going on guys I'm back with another video today I am on Azerite and today's video will just go ahead and check out the complete server now I already had a look around on the server it looks pretty nice but I'm going to give my honest opinion in just a moment right before we get into that I just want to announce a really juicy giveaway and today's giveaway the first winner of the, uh, of the video will get themselves a launch uh, three launch caskets as a prize and then the other two winners will win themselves two $25 scrolls each all you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below. The winners will be picked in just about two days. As always, they will be posted in my community Discord, in the server's Discord, and on my pinned comment. The links of Discords are down below in the description, so definitely make sure to join those. Now, for the people who don't know, Azerite is a custom server that is hosted by another YouTuber that goes by the name of Stable. For the people who haven't checked him out yet, definitely make sure to do so. Now, um, the launch of this server was just a couple of days ago, and as you can see right now, the server has 69 online, and that is just after the restart. Literally, the server restarted one minute before I turned on my uh, recorder. So, 69 online straight after a server restart is absolutely amazing. Anyways, besides that, they also had a bunch of YouTubers doing live streams and making videos on here, which is also pretty amazing, of course, because that way they will attract as many players as possible. But starting off with the home area, it is pretty simple. Every NPC here has a custom function, of course, as always. You have the raid store, you have the healer where you can buy supplies, voting store, donation manager, and so on. The player-owned shops as well, of course. Um, what is really cool is this progression master. If you talk to him, you will see that you can get a bunch of progressions um, I have seen this on another RSPS before this is actually really nice to do especially for beginner players because you get certain tasks once you complete these tasks you will be able to claim yourself some rewards however as you can see you need to complete all three of them before you can go ahead and complete the rewards from these as you can see there are quite a bunch of things that you can actually go ahead and do and at the end some of these rewards are actually pretty sick for example experienced player if you complete all three of those you will get yourself a collector amulet icon five quadrillion boxes and uh, ten thousand cash crystals which is pretty sick moving on as you can see you will get some other really insane rewards if you just complete these progressions which is pretty awesome in my opinion now for the rest the home area is pretty usual as you can see you got like a skilling area in here you got something cool you have the rates one portal and rates two i'll showcase that later on as well because i think these are really nice you have the starter key chest here a treasure chest there um, another portal which I actually have no idea where it leads to but I'm going to finish off the home area first as you can see an AFK spot right here so basically people can come AFK here while they um, work on a second account there's still a bunch more up there um, skilling related as well so as you can see the custom home area is quite big and does have quite a lot of features i think these rooms will still be occupied later on there are actually a few npcs in here but those are like just the regular shops that you can go to but that is basically the home area which is pretty clean it is a custom home area of course as i just mentioned which is really nice um, but anyways besides that the teleport interface is also something that i really like you have the starter monsters by the way if you create an account you won't actually spawn at the um, home area you will spawn right here at this area where you have the um, mordecai or whatever the name is um, you will actually have a task right here as you can see first you will have to kill five of these and then you will be able to go to this room where you will be able to, uh, where you will have to kill 10 of these in order to get this reward as you can see um, so that is actually pretty sick if you are a new player you instantly can get some really cool rewards for example these i think are two donator boxes or something which is really nice in the beginning so definitely make sure once you create an account that you actually go ahead and complete these tasks so as you can see i just completed the first task i got myself an azerite scratch card i got myself a blood duel beretta and two donator boxes which can give some really cool rewards for example one of these collector icons um, infernal m16s you can also get a lucky ring of wealth and so on so let's see if we can get lucky we get ourselves a pet mystery box uh, and an Azerite scratch card and I also think we got some cash which isn't too good at, in total but we can't complain at all now of course beside that you still have quite a lot of other monsters that you can go ahead and kill for some crazy loot as well um, besides that as you can see right here from the master chief for example you can get James Toff which is really good you can also go to the bosses as you can see there are quite a lot of bosses even some custom bosses in here you have Galvik you have James the boss Thanos Cloud Strife and so on but then the mini games is where I like the most things as you can see you have rates 1 rates 2 and then you also have 
KH rates. So they have three custom versions of rates. Each is completely different from the other one, which is really nice in my opinion. Um, rates one is one of the rates that you will have to do with multiple people. Rates two is basically a rate that you will have to do um, alone. As you can see, I'll just go ahead and teleport to it really quick. So rates one, as you can see, once someone teleports to here, a certain message will be announced that the rates is starting in 20 seconds. There will be multiple waves of different NPCs that you will have to kill and once that is done you'll have to face a final boss and that final boss will give you a reward so as you can see the final wave has just started as you can see right here we just have to kill this raids master i am doing a lot of damage because i have really op gear but besides that once this is done you will get yourself some mystery boxes you can get normal medium and hard boxes i believe um of course the higher the level the higher your reward will be if you have a donator rank by the way some of these boxes will not be consumed when you open them so you actually have two boxes at once which is pretty sick as well anyways besides that let's move on to rates 2 rates 2 is basically a solo rate same with the kh rate those are solo as well but anyways for rates 2 um, this method has been used on multiple different servers already so i will not go over it in depth but basically you have to kill npcs here to get a key to move on to the next round uh, uh, to the next room and so on and so on so let's go ahead and go to the final room real quick now to get to the second room you only need one key however to get to the third room you actually need multiple keys as you can see part one part two part four and part three in there once you have all those four keys you can actually go ahead and move on but as you can see you will get a warning for the next key which is the key to open up the chest at the end right here you will need to kill 100 of these jimmy madness as you can see um, and then if you check the rewards you can get some really cool rewards from this raid chest you can get collector icon ruby donator emerald or sapphire donator you can get some souls which will morph you into that npc you can get james stuff tunnels gloves infernal minigun and so on so you can get quite a lot of really awesome rewards from here anyways i'm going to kill 100 of these real quick so i get the key and hopefully i can get lucky on the chest all right so as you can see once you complete 100 kills you get yourself the final boss key now the final boss key can be used on this chest once you use it you will be teleported out with your reward as you can see i got a ring of wealth 3 from um, using this on the rich chest and you will be teleported straight to the beginning again so you can go ahead for your second run now for the rest you still have some other really nice mini games in here cash shown slayer of course you have a gamble zone dragon balls boo and frieza as well if you want to check that out and of course the kh rates which is the one that i want to showcase as well now once again this rate is also a really custom rate and it does have some really nice rewards as well for example sapphire donator rank you can get infernal mini guns you can also get these rates tokens which you can spend in the rate store at the home area infinite op uh, infinite op potion infinite prayer potion and also some quad boxes and some other things but anyways let's go ahead and go into this raid now this raid is actually the ma uh, the most straightforward raid that you can have you get into a room you kill one npc in that room and you move on to the next room and so on until you get teleported back to the beginner zone uh, where you can start the raid and then you can open up the chest there so as i mentioned very simple raid it just took me like two minutes and max gear to go ahead and do this but of course with my gear that is nothing too special you shouldn't expect to do this in two minutes anyways as you can see once you complete the raid you will be teleported to here with a key and you will be able to open up this chest for some rewards now besides that of course there are still these global bosses you have the ice king you have gundam global tank brutal hulk and mr incredible these all have some really nice rewards now as you can see mr incredible is one of the cooler bosses in my opinion because this is a server boss that will spawn once the server reaches 50 votes as you can see information mr incredible is a special boss which will spawn once there have been 50 votes claimed it does have some insane rewards like you can literally get the best donator rank as a drop from here you can also get a james sword you can get james stuff and some other really nice thing uh, things as a drop from here which is pretty sick even battlefield gun 9 raid side upgraded uh, drop rate cape which are best items in game you can just get it from here and it will spawn every time uh, 50 people have claimed their vote now you can also just type colon colon vote balls to get to there of course now there won't be a single um mr incredible spawned here because we still need to reach 50 votes however i do really want to get that on video so i'll just wait until 50 votes have been claimed anyways while we are waiting i want to go over the quest tab as well because it have uh, it has a bunch of different information for example the server time already 87 online since the restart which was just um, still like 10 minutes ago or something 
but anyways besides that you can see if the well is active your own stats of your account your drop rate information and so on besides that you also have this as right tools and here you can check out the drop viewer stat comparator item upgrading and i just want to showcase this because this is a completely custom item upgrading that i haven't seen on any other rsps before which is really nice in my opinion they also have a ton of things that you can actually go ahead and upgrade even until like best items in game it will cost quite a bit but the information is all displayed here you will need certain items which are the requirements of course it will say how much you have out of what you need and then it will say the success chance as well i think this is a really nice interface really clean so i like it quite a lot you also have a collection log and now this is one of my favorite features here because this looks so clean and it works on every custom npc as well so i really like this quite a lot and i do want to try my best to get a bunch of these things filled in as well but uh, yeah i really love this anyways besides that the drop viewer is also really cool because you can check out npc drop tables these are the regular rates however you can also check it out at your rates and then they will change to whatever your drop rate is so that is actually pretty sick anyways besides that you have some settings you can really easily toggle these on and off i like that a lot Donator panel is still being worked on and this one is also still being worked on but that will be released soon um, but as I mentioned before like this server just went live a few days ago So here we go the vote boss has just spawned as you can see the mr. Incredible now You need to be in the top 20 most damage dealers in order to get yourself a reward from this Anyways, as you can see if you are with a bunch of players like we are right now the HP goes down insanely fast So a kill takes only like a 30 seconds or one minute or something which isn't too bad at all of course i took off my op cave so everyone has a chance because i would basically kill this in a few seconds anyways let's see if we can get lucky from this boss and we get ourselves a pet mystery box and also a one dollar casket which gave us some cash and also the pet homer right here anyways overall i think this is one of the better custom rsps that is around on the scene right now not just because of all the custom features they put in but also because stable is a youtuber and he knows quite a lot on how to actually market his rsps that's why this server has so many players online and is doing so well straight off the bat i think this server will be really promising and it will be going to one of the better rsps on the scene and i actually really hope it does because i really enjoyed my time on here and i definitely want to come back to do some more videos or live streams on the server anyways with all that said this is where i'll be where i'll be ending off today's episode guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash like button subscribe if you didn't already and i'll be catching you guys in my next video peace